Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be changing out the laptop screen. This is a Dell Latitude 5490. Okay, and as you can see that the screen is all cracked and pixelated. So let's go ahead and turn off the computer by pressing down the power button until it shuts off. Now, it is recommended to remove the battery when you change out the screen. Um, so we need to do that. Let's go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver. We'll be removing the back cover here. Get to the battery connector and disconnect the battery before we change out the screen. It looks like the top three screws are not coming off. Okay, so just leave it as is. Make sure you just... Um, oh, it looks like all the screws are not coming off. Yep. So the screws stay connected but you just have to loosen up the screw once you have done with that process let's go ahead and separate and pry open the back cover here so it looks like there's an opening gap for the sd card let's see if i can get underneath that doesn't seem to work okay let's see if i can Try to get in between that plastic connector here. Okay, you just have to pop open the, the back cover. And once you pop it open, you can see that the battery is here and the connector is going all the way to the right. So let's go ahead and just lift the connector up. And that's how you disconnect the battery. Just lift the connector straight up. All right, once you have disconnected the battery, what I like to do is making sure that it doesn't, by accident, get connected by itself. So let's move this out of the way. And right now we're gonna work on the, let's start I saw a roach, a dead baby roach right there. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and remove the screen. How do you do that? First, we need to uh, get in between the bezel. So the screen bezel right here, it is held down with the double-sided adhesive tape. And just be careful with the front camera here and the microphone on both sides. Do not stick all the way in and you do not want to damage and scratch. Okay, so the bezel uh, is being adhesive down. As you kind of peel it off, you can feel like the uh, the tape is, is cutting. Uh, it's kind of sticking onto the screen. And just go ahead and Okay, we just removed the entire bezel by just pulling it off. And the next step is to go ahead. I wonder if the screen is adhesive down or is it screw in? So it looks like it's a screw in. I'm gonna remove the screw here on the top right corner. This one here on the top left. Can kind of tilt the screen not quite yet there's another two more screws here at the bottom so the screen is actually held down with the screw and remove the two more screws here at the very bottom now you can tilt the screen towards your body gently to tilt it down and this is the tape where it's kind of taping it down the uh, connector you need to peel that little tape backwards, pull it back.
Okay, try not to yank it all the way to the back because the peel is still stick onto the connector. You do not want to peel it all the way and rip the cables. Just peel it back enough for you to expose the connector and that is the connector here is held down by another blue tape. I'm gonna take the blue here and that is where the metal clipper you need to pay attention to right here is where you're gonna flip the thing open okay and then slide the connector away from your body and leave it like that now the entire screen would just come right off if you're not sure where to buy the screen from let's go ahead and check the uh, the model here is n140 vga ea3 uh, REV C1 so that is the one that you need to look up for uh, to find the screen replacement and again what I'll do is I'll, I'll link them down in the description below I'll go ahead and check the link to um, I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find that replacement screen as well as the tool for this repair now I do not have the screen with me because I need to find the model number all right so I am going to do a reverse process on the installation but obviously this is my broken crack screen I just need to make sure that I find the right number before I order them um, just gonna walk you through the process on how to do the installation back in so this is the new screen comes in you know lay it down just like so and then have the connector slide it in right so make sure that the uh, clipper is open so that metal clipper is open and then you want to slide in that cable like such push all the way in and then use that clipper to clip it down and have the little blue tape that was there to re-tape the connector making sure it doesn't pop right out and then what I like to do is kind of pull a little bit like tuck it in have it snuggle tape it all the way in and that's how you uh, get the connector installed once the connector installed you then flip the screen okay flip the screen back and put in the four screws two at the bottom and two on the top okay two at the bottom and two screws on the top once you have done with that process, uh, the next step is just pretty much have the bezel. If you have the tape left over and if it still feels sticky, then you just have to tape them back together like such. Okay, but if you feel like the tape is kind of uh, worn out and it's not sticky enough, go ahead and buy one of these. Uh, this is the three millimeter, which is I think a little bit too well, actually it's not too big yeah you can use the three millimeter so this is double-sided adhesive tape right this three millimeter go ahead and stick it onto the bezel like such okay so that you would stick back onto the screen um, I think my leftover adhesive on the bezel is still uh, sticky enough so as you can see I can tape it and you know it's still sticky enough and I'll be reused that original adhesive and tape it back together once you are completed with this the next step is very easy do not forget to reconnect your battery okay reconnecting the battery is very simple all you have to do is just um, have the connector going back in insert and you'll be done and the back cover have the back cover going back on top and then screw it back in power up the computer hopefully you can enjoy with the new screen replacement and if you do find this video is helpful please smash the like button for me if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe and um, and yeah just comment down below let me know if this video was able to help you to replace the screen on a Dell Latitude 5490. Just comment down below and do not forget to check out the YouTube tanks or my PayPal if you want to show appreciation 
uh, to give me some gratitude. I really appreciate you for supporting the channel and supporting my work. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.